Hey, I'm RT and welcome back to RT's World. So today I have a very different build video for you. This time it's a redstone machine rather than a casino build. And now you may ask yourself, why RT, why do you do that? Why don't you show me another casino this week? And the answer is simple, you requested it. And with you, I mean unknown. And <laughs> I don't know who that is, of course. So he's, he basically asked and wrote a comment. If you don't mind, can you make some sort of security entrance system? Like, I'd like to sell VIP tickets, sign books, and make a VIP exclusive area. The player enters a room alone, so nobody can get with him. The player submits VIP tickets, the door opens, gives back the ticket to the player, and he couldn't find such a contraption on YouTube. He basically found it only with renamed items, and yeah, he also said, thank you so much if I build it. And of course, dear unknown, I will build it. So. Behind me we have the extended version you saw in the preview and here we have a simple version. So you could either choose to build a simple one which is simply, yeah you have this room but of course someone could enter here. You simply um, deliver the VIP ticket, you enter it, you get it back and you're in this uh, private room. And for this tutorial now I will um, yeah, punch some holes into the ceilings to get a little bit faster out. Of. And for this version as you saw in the preview um, we have here the diamond block we want to insert. If we are not having a diamond block and a VIP pass, we will simply lose the diamond block and the VIP pass is required in the next section. So I simply put in the diamond, then we have this nice sound and here with this plates on, we cover the hopper on the outside so nobody can join us. Even if they have a diamond block, nobody can put in there something since, as we can see here, here this block is covered. If I don't stand on this pressure plates, we can see that, that uh, it's opens again, but if we stand here, it is simply covered and we cannot submit another diamond if we are another player. So make sure to enter this room alone. If you don't bring a VIP pass to this area, yeah, you basically have to kill yourself since there's no way out in uh, Survival Minecraft if you cannot um, replace any blocks on a server, for example. And here we then put in the VIP pass. Then we have another uh, time to submit it. And then we get back our block of diamond and our secret VIP pass. So, um, yeah, of course we can leave uh, via these doors, but I will again punch a hole in the ceiling to make it a little bit easier. And the first part of this video will be the explanatory part. So I will explain how to you how these machines work. We will build the big one together with the uh, extra room in the front. Since uh, you can simply just leave out the extra room in the front and build only the second room and have this is much simpler version. And um, in the second part of this video, of course, I will build it with you together block by block. And yeah, now let's start with the explanatory part. First of all, we have to insert here our diamond block. And by doing so, I will just, uh, yeah, just show it for you from the back. We have a very simple item filter with a secret named item. Of course, you have to secretly name this item here. And I just chose these uh, shards here, these amethyst shards. And here's your diamond block. So anyone can enter the second room, but uh, if they don't have a VIP pass, the diamond block will be lost and yeah, you won't get it back. So usually there's no reason to enter it without uh, sacrificing one diamond block. So after the diamond block was inserted, this redstone will power, since we get to 19 in the first slot, it will power this repeater and power this um, green circuit here. It also powers the yellow circuit, which blocks the uh, hopper so we cannot put in for example two items um, in a very short amount of time. We have also this nice, uh, how should I say it, this nice uh, music, so this nice sounds going on during this redstone contraption. And after that we are in the second room. In the second room we have another item filter. Here of course uh, if you want to get creators books you have to uh, get a book and quill. You have to write in, for example, I get it here, secret password or whatever. Uh, then you have to copy the books and then you have to open every single one of them. And then we have this uh, six NBT tags on these uh, books and that's when we have the correct item basically. So you, that's when this hopper will accept the item no matter what. Um, otherwise, if you don't read it and open every book, we have only five NBT tags and it could mess up with some people who want to read the book. So make sure to get the, to the six NBT tags. If you don't know how this works, I guess it's F3 and um, F or so. Just look up the Minecraft shortcuts to activate this debug menu. 
So next up we have so this block activated if we put into the correct book. We activate again the green circuit and the yellow one. The yellow one is blocking the hopper. And the green one simply opens the piston doors. And we have also the nice uh, sounds going on. So now to our hopper system. Why is there a hopper um, system under there? If we are for example putting in here one diamond block. Now it goes automatically back to 18. The doors were opened. And now our diamond block is at this point, let me show you where it is, is traveling this hopper line. And here at this, this repeater powers that hopper. So here our diamond block is stuck at the moment. So it cannot travel any further. So it's not dispensed uh, prematurely. So you have all the time you need in the second room to put in your VIP pass. So even if someone followed you <coughs> and he doesn't want to leave, you can wait. Your diamond block would, will not despawn since it is stored safely in this item hopper here. And only if you activate the second um, the second uh, item filter here with your VIP pass, I can show you that. Only then, yeah, we can also saw now that this uh, self-powering hopper here, uh, dropper here, dispensed. So only then this repeater will depower, will let the item through, and then it will end up in this dropper, which is self-powered. So if there's an item in there, for example, let me put in that iron block, it would automatically be dispensed. So every item that uh, ends up in this dropper will be dispensed. And then here we have all our three items, our book, our diamond block and the iron block I just uh, used for test purposes. Yeah, and of course you could put anything in here, a secret VIP area or yeah, these uh, end crystals. And then for the, if you want to leave the area, you have to press this door so you cannot get in there again. Then there's another door in the middle and then there's another door here that makes it a little bit safer to get out since if you press this button here a person could already be waiting here and just go in there but then there's a second door and also the third door is a safety feature so nobody could get into the VIP area by accident. Yeah and uh, with that said I want to go to the next part of this video which is the building part so I will see you in a second. So welcome to the building part. First of all, we will need a 22 by 6 area for the large contraption. And you can maybe half the area if you only build the small one, the simpler one. And I did not count in for the room on the back, so we have only two blocks in excess on the back and two blocks in excess on the front. Then we want to grab ourselves some deep slate tiles, and I just used them since they look pretty nice. You could use any block, of course. So one, two, three, four, five. Then we go all the way over and here again, one, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> Should look like this. That's the first gate. Then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks in between and another gate, which is here. Oh no, so that's the first one, eight blocks in between. So from here on, we also wanna add in the emerald blocks like this. That's where our first door will go. Then the pistons in the middle. And here's our first door. So for this door, I also want to uh, add the sticky pistons. So they will be here, here and there, like so. And of course we can also put in here a ceiling. And for the blocks, we have iron blocks in the middle. So that's our first door. So next up, we want to add the second door. For the second door, I simply use netherite blocks. I know it's completely useless and it's a mess, but for creative mode, it's fine because it looks good. <laughs> so we have then one, two, three, four, five in the second room. And then we're gonna uh, add in our netherite blocks, which are of course misplaced since they belong here. We have here the three by two door and another three by two door, which should fit in there. Then, we want to add the sticky pistons in the middle, like so. Put in the iron blocks to give it a vault-like feeling and here's some netherite blocks in the ceiling as well. So with all these blocks done, we can now add ourselves um, the quartz. So I will switch to smooth quartz instead and I can also use this birch door and I can also use a hopper like this. So. Um, from here on, we want to start with smooth quartz blocks here at the floor, like this. Um, then the hopper should be facing into this quartz block and into that quartz block. So from behind, it looks like this. And then we have a birch trapdoor in front, which covers it up like that. And 
From here on, yeah, you can simply use any design you like. I simply chose this design here where you go kind of stair-like structures and then again smooth quartz blocks on top. I will try to replicate it on the other side as well. Use it like this, like that, here on the top, like so. So that's the first one done. And here also a quartz stair is missing. Here we can already put in an item frame with the block of diamond displayed, so we know we have to put it in there. You can also add some signs as I showed you before. Then, second one. So we have the quartz stairs like this. Here we have the two hoppers facing into the two quartz blocks, the birch trapdoor, our item frame. And here we're gonna have our secret VIP pass book inside. Of course, if you played it in Survival Minecraft, where people can punch out stuff from uh, item frames, it's not recommended to put in there your real VIP pass, of course. So, and then here again, our nice quartz. And the reason why in the entrance room there's a hole is because there will be the exit. So there you can basically connect your VIP area with the outside area where everyone can go. So yeah, with that done, we can already put in the ceiling and for the ceiling, I simply chose this nice uh, andesite. Then we have sea lanterns and again andesite. We do that here as well. And sea lanterns, like so. Nice, and from the bottom, or from these rooms here, we can also add some nice iron trapdoors to give the lamps a little bit more 3D look. So with that done, we can already put in here our iron door. And also with some nice buttons. So let's place it like this. So that's our exit. And of course, that's I um, will not include that in this build tutorial here. From here on, we can basically exit our VIP area. Here will be another door just for safety. And that's where we you have to enclose this, of course, in a nice um, nice pipe-like uh, room, like here, where you can simply go out. I showed it you in the explanatory part. So that's what I don't will do here, since maybe some people will prefer other exits, so I will leave that up to you. The only thing you have to do is simply cover it up so it's a two by one area where you can walk and you can press the buttons, but uh, nobody can exit from outside. So next up, I want to grab some redstone. And the first things we're going to build are the item filters. So for the item filters, we start with two blocks. Then we go one diagonally, three blocks on the bottom, one there. We have redstone repeater, two pieces of redstone, redstone comparator, redstone torch. So with that done, we have now our secretly named item. We have our diamond blocks. If we put in their 18, nothing should happen. And we also want to grab a chest where all the profits will be stored, which is here. And we also want to uh, use this quartz slab here upside down to, our, to be able to open the chest. So if you put in 19th one, it will be transferred to that hopper and be stuck there. But the 20th diamond block should end up in this chest. We will remove it now again. So then we want to perform the same build here on this side, like that. Redstone repeater, redstone torch, redstone comparator and the redstone dust. So here we have one secret uh, VIP pass and we have four of those secretly named shard items. So if we put in another one, it should again end up in the, the dropper below. And we will also use, of course, a chest to store the VIP passes temporarily. And we will also grab a slab, uh, uh, sorry, a smooth quartz stair upside down to get access to this chest. So if you put in now a VIP book, it should end up here. Perfect. So we start here by placing a green block. We have here one, two, three, so four ticks. And then we have a three by three area in which we place redstone dust like so. And we also place two redstone comparators like this. 
and from here on we then go on further to the pistons and for the pistons we place here a block we place here a redstone torch another block and redstone dust same on the other side redstone torch block redstone dust so then we're gonna remove these two blocks here and these two blocks over there we simply go down like this put here some redstone dust we also go down here put there some redstone dust connect the redstone dust here at the bottom and from here on we simply place in two repeaters set to maximum delay then we can already start with the note blocks so here note block set to zero um zero clicks on it put an iron block beneath it so it sounds nicer here a note block and there a note block this one is one two this one is one two three four and repeaters set to four ticks in between so with that already done we can place here our final block here is our test circuit so if you press this button so you heard the pistons open and close perfect then we have here a repeater set to one tick the yellow circuit now starts here we have a redstone torch we have another um, piece of wool and another redstone torch like so and from here on we want to power this sticky piston here which should face into this direction and has a uh, smooth quartz there and here are some quartz blocks to prevent people from looking to your circuit and yeah we also want to connect it now like this so just put a redstone line so if we put in now ourselves a diamond block here it should close the door should open door should close and this should open again perfect we can now also remove our diamond from here and we're gonna repeat the same procedure for the other door so block redstone dust other side as well torch block redstone dust remove these two blocks redstone dust remove these two blocks redstone dust redstone dust in between and from here on one two three four this kind of shape so we have two repeaters set to maximum delay here redstone here redstone there redstone comparator comparator repeater set to four ticks block test button and then we're gonna grab ourselves again a repeater yellow circuit torch block torch block block up one block oh no go all the way up here and then grab yourself a sticky piston put it against this uh, wall against this wool here's some quartz stairs again some blocks to cover the holes so nobody can see through and here's some redstone on the top nice and like in the build before uh, here redstone um, sorry a note block here a note block there a note block one two one two three four repeater set to maximum delay and also this circuit should now work perfect and it also should work if you put a book inside next up we want to add in our dropper which should be located here so put it right there put a block again on top remove the bottom dropper at the bottom block then get yourself some wool and we're gonna put in a three by three area here's a redstone comparator here's a repeater there's a repeater here is an orange wool block and some redstone dust around next up we want to add here a repeater into this block and we also want to add in here this three by three area where we have redstone there and two comparators facing in different directions like so and here repeater is set to two ticks then we want to add here um, or basically we remove here the floor like so uh, so it's only a one two three four five by two area starting right at these blocks here where this iron door closes so then we want to add in here some redstone dust on top like so and we can already put in the floor and cover it with stone pressure plates so then i have to get out of here and if we now power these pressure plates and i can just simply simulate that with this button we power these pressure plates we can see that this piston here is extended and 
if it's uh, depowered, the piston retracts again. So that leaves that simply blocks the entrance for other players if we're in the second in the first room. So um, from here on, we can already put in our hoppers. So for the hoppers, we want to end up here in this dropper. So we go simply like so, then into this direction, curve into that direction, go here around, and then we can already go towards this chest. So this hopper snake is now um, yeah, basically done. The last thing we want to add is this reset circuit. And for the reset circuit, we can use this output of the redstone torch here. Go down and put in here a repeater. So we have here the repeater. We have um, some redstone dust here on top. And this repeater will simply power this item hopper here. So next up, we want to add in one book in this hopper here. I forgot it to uh, put it in there. One book into this hopper, like so. Just right below this chest. And we also want to add in one diamond block right below this chest here. They are locked since we have here the redstone torch nearby. And otherwise we won't get them back the first time we use the system. So then we can already start and look at it. So we have here the diamond block. We can enter in the next room and we have all the time now to submit our secret VIP pass. And if we are already here, um, I you maybe noticed that I used here some concrete. And the reason why I used it is that no, but nothing will start to burn if we put in here some lava. Because I built this world and I tried it with a wool and of course it burned down a little bit. So that's where you can put the lava. So people can kill themselves at least if, we're, if they're stuck in this room. And of course, instead of using this birch trapdoor here, which always opens, it's much easier to add a sign and use that instead. So then we can add our secret VIP pass, enter through here, and we should get both of our items back at the end. So that's everything done. Of course, you have to now um, connect these doors or whatever you want as an in-between system to prevent people from uh, going from the first room to the VIP area, but making it also possible to for people to leave from the VIP area to the first room again. Yeah, you can be creative there. If you want to just mimic it, that's what I did. I simply used this pipe-like structure here, which is just a long hallway, which leads back to the first room. But of course you can be creative here. So um, with that said, Thanks for watching. As always, there is a world download link in the video description if you want to look closer at this world. And if you want to recommend some crazy redstone builds, it doesn't have to be a casino. Simply write a comment and I will try my best to build it here in Minecraft together with you. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and bye bye.